In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to make a picture appear on your screen. This is in response to a query I had from one of my viewers. So let me show you two ways to do that very simply. I have simply a color board in track number one, and then I have some text in track number three, and I'm going to put my picture in track two. All I have to do is highlight the picture, and then if I click on this, it will put it in at the very place that my playhead is at. So one thing I want to know is where is my playhead? Well, right now it's at 5 seconds and 27 frames. I can go ahead and use the left and right arrow key and move it. Let's move it to 6 seconds. Okay, now it's at the 6 second mark. I click on my picture and then I can just uh, click on the button here to insert on selected track and um, make sure I'm in track number two. And now my picture appears exactly six seconds into my pr uh, production. So I'm going to back again, back up to uh, about five seconds, click on play, and now the picture will show up. Let's make the picture less than full screen so uh, we can see what it looks like here. Oops, wrong, wrong. Wrong handle there. We'll edit it. And now we'll move it over here. And there I have it smaller. I'll click on OK. Now it will appear at this point in time and then it will disappear when the duration is over. And it comes and it goes that easily. So that's one way. Let me show you a different way to do that. Uh, let's use a keyframe this time. And this way we'll make the picture appear uh, slowly and not all at once. I'll click the picture and I'll drag it down to where I want it to start appearing. And now I'm going to use a keyframe. So I double click on the picture and I go to opacity, which is visibility. And at the very beginning, when the picture is on the screen, I want it to be uh, transparent. So I'll click at the left side on the diamond under the opacity scale and turn my opacity down to zero. And then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, move it ahead. Maybe, well, how far do we want to go? Let's, let's just move it ahead to, let's see, one second. I'm using uh, 30 frames per second here. Okay, I'll move it ahead one second. And then I'll click my diamond again to sec set a second keyframe. And at that keyframe, once it's set, selected, I'll put my opacity at 100%. Now what it will do is it will make a gradual transition from this point to this point in that one second timeline. I'll click on OK. And if I enlarge the track, you can see this little green line with the two markers on it. This shows you the opacity and the change in opacity at the one second in. So we'll go ahead and back this up a little bit. I'm gonna make that more, more uh, normal size here. And then we'll go ahead and play. And now you'll watch it fade in and then stay. Again, I can double click on the picture and I can easily change the, the size of it to be less than the full screen if I want. I'll click on OK. So now I have two ways of bringing in the picture. One, without using any keyframing at all, where we just say start point, end point, and it appears to pop in on the screen. And then the second example, where we are doing the same thing, but we're using a keyframe uh, on the opacity to make it kind of uh, appear over a short period of time. And now it ends again. I could use uh, another keyframe to make it fade out as well. So that's a couple ways in which you can make a picture appear on your screen in PowerDirector.